While I enjoy being submissive in some roles and in some circumstances, I prefer to be dominant. Does that make me more of a switch? How do I know exactly or is it more of a percentage thing? I'm like 80% submissive and 20% switch. I feel so stupid. I'm just trying to find my true identity in this BDSM world. All right. So this one, I, this one is so common. I get so many people coming into this community. And first of all, not stupid at all. Let's just start there. Not a stupid question at all. This is such a common question. And this is not how I approach BDSM. I do not think, actually, I'm just, I'm just going to tell you the little, the little thought that I jotted down earlier. BDSM can't give you your identity, but it can and should be used to maximize the expression of your personality, including your shadow. So that's where I want to start. That to me is the diving board that we're going to jump into the pool with. Okay. Here's the thing. BDSM can't give you your identity. I know that it's so like you're finding layers of your personality and you're finding layers of your interests and you're finding layers of your expression. And oftentimes that experience of digging deeper into the shadow and exploring yourself more fully feels like I'm finding my identity. But in reality, your identity should be settled before you enter the lifestyle, ideally. Now, I don't care if it's not, you're still welcome in the lifestyle. But my point is everything will go smoother and be more authentic if it is. So I think a lot of that, when you lean into that, that's where we find a lot of switch points, either sexually or in the shadow. Whereas me, as a bottom, I have no desire for degradation, humiliation, none of that. As a top, when I'm in dom space, oh, that can come out of my shadow hard, that mouthy degrader. And so learning to identify that, identifying parts of your shadow, bringing them to the surface. Here's the thing. Incorporating your shadow should reduce shame. Incorporating your shadow should reduce shame because we're not viewing the shadow as something shameful. We're viewing it as something that is there that we need to properly manage. And I think BDSM gives a great sphere in order to manage it. So that's what I think. BDSM cannot give you your identity, but it can and should be used to maximize the expression of your personality, including your shadow. Because really the question is, if you're really digging into this for yourself, how can a percentage even dictate your identity? If you're going, oh my gosh, I'm trying to figure out my identity. So I need to put, I need to, I need to confine my identity to a ratio of numbers, 80% dominant, 20% submissive or vice versa or whatever. How can a percentage tell you your identity? And so really, if you just break down the logic here, it kind of falls apart. So um, regarding switching, because that was part of the question, in some roles and circumstances, I prefer to be dominant. Am I a switch? In what percentage? All of that. I would say start looking for patterns. If you go back through your day, go back through your week, go back through your month, pan out and look for patterns. Is it like Dago when you're overworked and you get overwhelmed? Do you feel like you switch? Is it you feel like you don't really have much power in your job or everyday life? And so that is your switch point when you come home. You want to be more dominant. What is a switch point? What are you switching into and out of? And look for patterns. Is it sexual? Does it have to do with your job? Is it switching from vanilla to kink? And that, that kink switch is consistently dominant or consistently submissive. Look for patterns there because they absolutely do exist and they will be very, very insightful to you to determine where your switch point is and what it's trying to tell you in terms of how to advocate for your own needs. Look at switching, not as dominant to submissive or submissive to dominant, 
but view it as responsibility to release or release to responsibility. When you're trying to navigate your personality and your expression and your desires as a switch, those are really the two that I would recommend that you start with. Mm -hmm.